Hey everybody, Mr. Hames here. So we just had my uh, favorite weather phenomenon, or at least one of them, uh, hail. Uh, and pretty large size hail too. Um, I'm out here a little later now, so things are starting to melt, but right afterwards I snapped some video of some uh, almost golf ball size hail uh, out there, which was really cool. Maybe you've wondered why the clouds for a thunderstorm look a certain way. They look really dark, of course, but when you see them far away, they tower way high in the air. Reason is, is because you have updrafts of air getting pulled way up high into the atmosphere. Well, sooner or later, that air is gonna get so high it has to fall, right? What happens is you get the circulation or column of air in the atmosphere. This is a process called convection. When air heats up, it rises. A liquid heats up, it rises. And when that matter cools down, it sinks. Cold things are more dense, they sink. Hot things are less dense, they rise. Well, thunderstorms work this way. Now, imagine you are a water droplet or a rain droplet falling in that storm. It starts off very tiny and it can get caught in an updraft. If that wind is strong enough, which it is in a major thunderstorm like that just passed, or eventually it's gonna get so high in the atmosphere that temperatures are gonna get below freezing because the higher you go up, the colder it gets. So it's gonna freeze. What happens when it freezes? It gets heavy and it falls again until sometimes it gets caught in another updraft. When that happens, that piece of what we now call hail goes back up into the atmosphere again, and then more water sticks to it, and then that water gets cold and it freezes to make a bigger ball. Then it falls again, repeats the process. Now, however many times it goes up and down in the atmosphere, is a layer of water that gets added and frozen to the ball of hail. So the bigger hail you have, well, the more it's been pushed up into the atmosphere. And eventually, what goes up must come down due to gravity, and that hail is going to fall and make contact with everything on the ground. I wish I would have taken a video because it was very, very cool, but I was too worried about getting those pulled into the garage because they were parked out here where I'm standing, and you can imagine why I would want to do that. It sounded like a bunch of clinging metal, so my mind was getting those in there. Hopefully you learned something today, and uh, the next time it hails, check it out. See if you can figure out maybe how many times that hail was pushed way up high into the atmosphere. See if you can get an idea of uh, just how big that hail is and just how powerful the thunderstorm just went over your head. But one thing is for sure, I don't recommend you going out there um, in the middle of a hailstorm and trying to pick them up. I got hit a few times. All right, guys, uh, stay safe out there. Enjoy weather. Enjoy science. It's happening. It's happening all around us all the time. Have a good night, guys.